In the midst of the busyness and the craziness of life and Christmas, let me share a verse with you that, well, hopefully will have an impact. These are the words of Jesus. Come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy laden or burdened, and I can give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and let me teach you because I'm humble, gentle at heart, and you'll find rest for your souls. There's three words Jesus uses here that I want to kind of share with you. He says, come, he says, take, and he says, learn. So the first step is you just come to him. And that's how it happens for all of us. He calls, he draws, he speaks, and we finally reach a place where we come to Jesus. And then he says, take my yoke upon you. And a lot of Christians, I don't think ever get there. They maybe don't read the rest of the verse, I don't know. They come to Jesus, but they never really take his yoke. And yoke has to do with obedience. They would yoke two oxen together so well that they would pull together. They wouldn't go off and do their own thing. And so Jesus says, be yoked to me, be obedient to me. Don't go your way, don't you do your thing, do my thing. So come to me, be yoked to me, and then he says, learn of me. It's not so much he's saying learn scripture, although theology is good and knowing the Bible's obviously important, but he says, learn of me. And if you really look into that, it has to do with lifestyle. Learn to live like I live, Jesus said. The way he treated people, the way he responded to issues. It's kind of like if I were to say to you, do you believe God is sovereign? Yeah. Well, how do you respond to things in life when they don't go your way if God is sovereign? If you say, well, God is love. Yeah, I believe that. Well, how do you respond to your neighbor that God loves? So Jesus says, come, take my yoke and learn of me three powerful things. And if you do that, he says, you'll find rest for your souls. So come unto me, Jesus says, take my yoke and learn of me. That's where we find his rest.